Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a very, hopefully very quick look at problems that people are having with .dng files opening in Affinity Photo and other programs. Um, this all came about because on the, the group that I run, Fans of Sarah Software, Philip Sanford put a comment about he couldn't open a DNG file in Affinity Photo, but he could in Photo Plus. Um, there are various comments after this, um, but mainly it's like a few people and myself trying to sort of help solve the problem. Um, and I did find a website where you could, you were able to download some DNG files to test these sort of things and I have no problems opening other DNG files um, in Affinity Photo. So I got uh, Philip to email me the file and this is the file here that he is having problems with and as you can see the even the icon in Windows 10 here has no problem displaying what the image looks like. But if I do open with Affinity Photo, it comes up looking like this with all these black lines and it's all broken up. I'll just cancel that. But if you go to Photo Plus, which is Sarah's earlier product, um, sorry, I've gone to the wrong place. Then I put it folded D and G. Here we go. The Photo Plus has absolutely no problems opening this file to convert. Let's cancel that. So I did a quick test of my sort of photographic programs and I found that Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer and a program by NCH which is called PhotoPad couldn't open the file and they all came up with these black lines but Adobe's Photoshop Serif Photo Plus and um, dum -dum, Photomatics could open the DNG file that Philip sent over. So you know, it got me thinking that this must be an older, possibly a newer, but I thought maybe an older version of DNG that Affinity Photo and his other programs are not taking into consideration. They're only worried about the new versions of DNG. So I did a quick look at the Adobe uh, site because Adobe sort of, I think they're the ones that make the DNG um, files. And it's got here like Adobe's DNG converter enables you to easily convert camera specific RAW files from supported cameras to a more universal DNG RAW file. And another great benefit of using the DNG converter is backwards compatibility, which is what I, th I thought was needed here. So from here you can click on either the Windows version or the Mac version of the DNG converter. This opens up another page, where other pages where you can get to finally get to the download button. And then you can download this onto your PC or your Mac if you've gone for the Mac version. Um, then this opens up um, a small file that you then have to run. And then that file will then make this one here where you get the Adobe DNG Converter.x probably different maybe different name in the Mac but this is what it was on my PC Windows 10 computer um, and what I then did was I right click that and I put send to and then desktop create a shortcut 
so let me just go back to my desktop and so I'll put it over here so I just click run that so the first thing it wants you to do is to select a folder now I think what you'll have to do is to put any or all of the older DNG files that you have into a folder um, and then you just navigate to where that folder is so I made one which I just called DNG and I put uh, Philips Im image into that so that is now um, set up to look in the DNG folder and then you have to select where you want it to be located um, you can save in the same location or save in a new location and I've opted to save this on the desktop and then you can then pick the name of the file uh, the new name file you can keep the same name if you want but I've opted to call mine test and with the file extension of DNG I mean, so it's keeping the same um, extension and then just click convert and then I can exit that so this is now we'll bring this down here so this is what it has made and if I right click that and then open with Affinity Photo and then Affinity Photo will now open that properly and Philip can now go on and edit this in Affinity Photo or other programs if he has them that was having a problem with them or, or anybody is having a problem with them so I would strongly suggest that you go to Adobe and download the newest version of the DNG converter I will add links to the page where that uh, where you can find that and I hope this answers all these questions so thank you for watching and goodbye